Hello everyone and welcome along to another edition of the Selangor Turf Club video preview and uh, wishing everybody a happy Chinese New Year and hopefully luck will be on your side this coming Sunday and Monday at the Selangor Turf Club featuring the two race meetings on the 11th and 12th of February and we'll have a look at the Sunday program first of all where Corsa is back into operation there uh, the rail is back in the true position as well so the main track being utilised and the main race on the program will be race 7, that is the Walaya Silver Bowl. The race is worth 80,000 ringgit in stake money, has attracted a very uh, good field of up and comers if you like. Some progressive types going around there in Sunday's feature. And uh, speaking of the Walaya Silver Bowl, that is where my best bet will emanate from. And I speak of race 7 number 2, Shimmy Go. Now this horse has got uh, the unbeaten record of 3 wins from 3 starts here in the country and has not started uh, since defying the class rise and winning a Metro A race uh, back on the 2nd of December. Now this horse does look primed following his trial win over the highly rated awesome Storm there Tuesday week ago and I think he's worth a first up tilt there on Sunday. I think he does look hard to beat. He's a quality type this one. Race 7 number 2 Shimmy Go as my best bet for the program. From the trials, we've got uh, two to highlight here. First of all, we'll go to the Open Maiden, uh, race four, number 10, Grafted Express. Now this horse won a trial in uh, moderate time, uh, but I think it's uh, going to win its fair share of races. I think it does possess some potential, this horse, and there does appear to be plenty of upside for this galloper. Now he attracted market support when he uh, debuted uh, going back three weeks ago. He missed the start slightly and uh, came from last and closed off well when he eventually finished uh, fourth and raced greenly over the final stages. So I think the horse can improve with race experience and uh, I think he is the one to watch there in race four, number 10, Grafjet Express. He looks to be one of the future. Now we'll go to race nine, uh, number five, Dragon Riker. This horse trialled well, uh, finishing runner-up in a trail going back to the 23rd of January. Attracted market support in each of his uh, six runs last preparation. He didn't win last campaign. He was in the placings on three occasions and I think he'll uh, go all right first up since October last year. So that is Dragon Riker, race nine, number five as a horse to watch from a recent trial. So that'll cover Sunday's program. Uh, we wish you the very best of luck for this coming Sunday. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back. We'll be concentrating on day two of the Selangor Turf Club Chinese New Year meeting coming up this Monday, the 12th of February. We've got eight races set down for decision. And uh, like Sunday's program, the course say in operation and the rail is in the true position there. Okay, my best bet for the program, I thought get the money early, race one, number one, Captain Legacy. Now this horse finally broke through after a string of minor placings uh, before posting an easy win by four lengths going back uh, three weeks ago. Now the Kayanathan stable enjoying a very good run, it's had a flying start to the season, currently striking at 38%. Captain Legacy once again will be ridden by S. Rizzani. I think he can go back to back. So that is race one, number one, Captain Legacy as my best bet for the day. We'll have a look at a couple from the trials in recent weeks. We'll go to race three, number eight, Barlin. Now this horse closed off very well in its Tuesday trial. It came from a fair way back, finishing on the hills of the place getters. Now Barlin, of course, uh, notched up the winning hat-trick towards the end of last year, all at class five level. I think pay to forgive his last run when the Corsi track was uh, moist and became uh, very cut up after continual rain. So the races were abandoned immediately after the running of Barlin's event last time out. So I think pay to forgive that performance. He is capable of winning a class four and who knows, uh, so Monday I should say might be the day there for Barlin. So that is race three at number eight. Now, his stablemate in race four in the open maiden, number nine, Antipode, and also from the Simon Dunderdale Yard. I think it's one to watch first up. It's a New Zealand bred newcomer and uh, showed a big improvement in uh, the second of its two trials uh, leading in, into its debut uh, this coming Monday. Now, his stablemate, Charming Win, will go around as the short priced favourite and no doubt is the horse to beat on recent form. But uh, I think he may be one for the trifectas there, Antipodean after winning his trial 
uh, going back to Tuesday morning. So that's race four, number nine. Now, the next meeting coming up from the Selangor Turf Club, it's a one-day uh, meeting next week. It's on Sunday, the 19th of February. So wishing you all the very best for this Chinese New Year as we enter the Year of the Dragon. Uh, good luck and uh, good health to everybody. Gong si fa choi, and we'll catch you again next week. Bye for now.